Hello everyone, this is Joseph K. Welcome back to more Let's Play Tales of Arise. In the last part, we went through this uh, lovely, what's this place called? The Elvon, not the Elvon Grotto. Where are we? I don't know how to look up where we're at. There we go. Sea, Safar Sea Cave. And we learned some new abilities for our characters. And now there's a light at the end of the tunnel. So let's go ahead and approach it. This is why I cut where I did. Because there's an automatic skit. Hey, Law. Back when we left Sisladen, you remember how you said so long as you don't give up, there's nothing to stop someone starting over? Yeah? Well, I think you did just that. You've set out on a new path despite what happened in your past. Uh. Besides, you're not the only one fumbling your way through things. You too? It was your dad who taught me to fight. Back at the start of all this, I knew that so long as I followed him, I wouldn't end up straying. But it was also your dad who told me the importance of becoming my own master. Of searching out the answers within me. I always figured I would one day. But at the same time, I had so much more to learn. When he died, I suddenly found myself rudderless. Sure, our immediate goal is to defeat all the lords. But then what comes after that? There's no one left to point me in the right direction. It was then that I realized, no matter how much I fret about it, the only thing I can do is fight. Ren in brutality isn't going to right itself. So that's what I'm doing. Fighting. And in the meantime, I'll try to figure out my next move. Right now, that's about all I can do. And you really believe you got what it takes to win this? Against all the odds? Yes, I do. Or, at least I want to. If I'm being completely honest, sometimes I'm not really sure whether I can or not. So what if we're still figuring stuff out? If we do it together, then we can support one another along the way. Is there anything so wrong with that? No, I don't think there is. I think I get it now. We may not know what we're capable of, but we have to try all the same. Having another one of your secret meetings? Don't tell me you were taking yet another bathroom break? Oh, we were just engaging in a bit of brotherly bonding. Isn't that right, Alfin? <clears throat> yeah, that's right. Hmm? Fine then, suit yourselves. Hey, I think I can feel a breeze up ahead. I bet the exit is real close. Finally! Man, it's been too long since I felt the sun on my face. Alright! And we got some more skits! When I get in a tussle, I go full force right at him! Whoever makes the first move wins! I do have to admit, it's quite the spectacle to watch you charge in and go to town on someone during a battle. Yeah, it was actually my old man who taught me to fight that way. The more I lay the beat down on some baddies, the more fired up my fists of fury get. Zephyr taught you? Wow, I guess you really are following in his footsteps. There's nothing wrong with being so <clears throat> focused on offense, but the enemy always fights back at some point. Eh, as long as I don't get hit, it's not a problem, right? So what you're saying is, you're too weak to take a hit. <laughs> you're not exactly one to talk. What were you two talking about earlier? Earlier? Oh, it was just serious guy talk. You know, the kind that girls don't get to hear. Really? Don't mind him, Renwell. It's just... Maybe it is a little difficult to talk about in front of women. Difficult to talk about? Okay, now I really want to hear it. Unless... It's not the creepy sort of guy talk, right? <laughs> no! Okay, it's not creepy! Okay, okay. As long as you're fighting fit, you can talk about whatever you like. Creepy guy talk? Who do you think we have with us? Raven? Chester? Actually, that wasn't Chester, was it? Klaus, that's who that was. I 
I bet Mint fucks... Not Mint. I bet Arch fucks like lioness or whatever the fuck he said in that... <laughs> I think Hoodle senses something. Whatever the hell he said in uh, Tales of Fantasia, the DJAP version. We're finally here. Elda Menencia, the land of green. The place certainly lives up to its name, doesn't it? Yeah, just feel that breeze. It's like night and day compared to Calaglia and Cislodia. Unsullied, fertile land, as far as the eye can see. That's beautiful. <clears throat> what? Oh, nothing. Just... I was thinking the very same thing. That's the realm capital in the distance. The city of Vicent. A word to the wise before we continue. Elda Menencia has produced more sovereigns over the years than any other. Uh, Xion! Guess we should probably follow after her, shouldn't we? Hey, you alright, Law? Yeah, fine. I was just thinking how Dad would have enjoyed this view. All this green in one place is incredible. Anyway, let's get moving before we start looking tasty to monsters. Is he going to be okay? Eventually. That's a wall he'll have to overcome on his own. <sighs> All right. But god damn all the skits. So if I remember right, there are six elements of astral energy and darkness is only on Rena and light can only be found on Dana, right? Right. I only remember because my parents drilled it all into my head when I was little. How did we find out about dark astral energy in the first place if it's not on Dana though? Beats me. I couldn't tell you how or when we figured out that sort of stuff. I'm sure there's other stuff we've forgotten along the way, too. Yeah, I bet. And then we forget that knowledge was even forgotten at all, and it's back to square one. Exactly. That's why we need to take good care of what knowledge and artifacts we still have left. You really have a thing for old stuff, don't you? Well, I don't know that I'd call it just a thing. It's also something that helps me feel connected to our world. Connected? It's nothing. Forget I even mentioned it. I should have guessed that there'd be no way he'd understand. How could he? Whew! Now you may have noticed that Hoodle... ...reacted... ...when we got here. There's, a, there's an owl. Somewhere over here. On this path. But let's take this almost hidden path. I mean, we're like seven minutes in. We're finally getting around to something. Yeah, I guess I'll leave this battle in. Well, you're not exactly uh, loaded up and ready to go, Shio. You're most comfortable at a range, aren't you? You're not really built for close quarters combat, nor am I. All right, but we I take care of those guys. We get ourselves a verbena. 
All right, that's it. Let's go down the main path. This is a beautiful view. Man, I'm famished. Yeah, well, you're going to have to hold up because we're not near a campfire yet. <sighs> What's wrong? Uh-oh. Well, we got to heal them. Huh? A healer and her patients. Now, I think for this, you actually have to use your uh, healing arts, your CP. Maybe, I don't remember. Yep, we don't have the CP. So we got to use uh, orange gels. I think you can actually pass this up for the time being. Or you could like fast travel to an inn and then come back. But for saving this guy, he gives us two beast tails. Let's heal this person. We get five eggs, which is good because we kind of needed eggs. Hmm. Oh, there is? Well, we better go get him. Sure thing. <sighs> Okay. Now there is one more person up here. What's this doing here? All right, let's heal him. Looks like a clown. Oh, Wonder Bard. He gives us two clam tentacles. Mm -hmm. Here's the thing about Wonder Bard. I will talk about it after we're done with the scene. Uh, something like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> It's just a Heliard guy. Uh, yeah, yeah, it is. Mm -hmm. Uh, okay, quit trying to assess her. Ah, oh, you lie. Empty threats. <laughs> hey. Touch him, Shion. Mm -hmm. uh. Just great. Is that right? That can't be. Yeah, what do we care? What does that mean? Okay, whatever. You're being weird and creepy, dude. Nice. <laughs> Very well.
<laughs> Adios and via Condana. Dana. And for doing that, we get the healer title for Shion. Now we're going to actually want to use this soon. Actually, let's use it now since we got a lot of uh, stuff. Let's start with Alfin. All right, yes, we definitely want to increase our max AG. That's probably something else you might want to focus on. As you go through, increase your max AG. More AG means you can do more attacks and more different things. After, of course, you get your arts. And because we got the healer title, let's go ahead and get healing circle for uh, Shion. And let's also get increase her max AG. Try to see if there's anything that's kind of cheap that I could get. Nope. She doesn't appear to have increased max AG. Definitely want to get that for her. That's important. And we get uh, innate skill for that. And let's go ahead and use law. Damn, he's got a lot. Seven meals cooked. Leg strike proficiency. Ardent enemies broken. Refreshing rough housing. I don't know why it gave us that, but okay. Let's see. Uh... Maybe I just did that just to get some innate abilities for him. No other reason. Alright, we're good. Now... The Wonder Maybe Bard. Have left them alone. Thanks, Shion. Why are you thanking me? I hate camping out. Uh, he's gonna appear again later in the game, so remember him for later. There's several like characters we come across, like Gordano's another one. I probably shouldn't say that because that's a spoiler, but we're gonna run into them again. And they're part of, like, a longer subquest. But we're not going to see the Wonder Bard, I don't think, for a, a little while yet. So, I wouldn't worry about him. But let's rest up and let's uh, cook something. Why do you keep staring at me, Shion? Just, what is that wolf on your shoulder? Oh, this thing? I love it. I got it off a street vendor for just 10 gold. I don't know if that's something to brag about. Hey, 10 gold's a bargain if you ask me. Because it wouldn't sell otherwise. It serves no practical purpose. Honestly, I'm surprised you paid 10 whole gold for it. <clears throat> Shut up! But the detail is so lifelike. I think you made a good choice, Law. Really? I have no idea why you wear it over your shoulder, though. Uh, I think it looks pretty cool. More skips! 87! 88! 89! Oh, shoot! What the? Is the enemy attacking? Uh, sorry about that. You're not hurt, are you? Law? What on Dana are you doing? What am I doing? Training, obviously. 
I found these nice and heavy rocks that I decided to strap onto my arms, but I guess I didn't tie them down good enough because they went flying. So you were doing improvised weight training. <laughs> you and your crazy ideas. I can't help it. If I'm not training, it's easy for me to get anxious. Well, that's fair. Actually, I remember seeing you practicing your forms for some time when we were camping the other day. Yep. No amount of muscle will do you any good if you don't stay on top of your fighting forms. It always feels good when I know I'm still sharp. Sounds to me like you have too much pent-up energy. Don't train so hard that you wind up hurting yourself, Law. I promise you, you're already perfectly strong as it is. <clears throat> no, I'm not. You never know what we'll run into out there. You can never go into a fight too prepared. And that's the truth. Besides, I won't rest until I know that I'm stronger than you, Alfin. <laughs> oh, I see how it is. Well, I don't plan on letting you beat me. Hmm. Maybe I'll add some weights to my sword and practice swinging it. That should help out. Uh, Alfin, are you crazy? <clears throat> You're right. This does make for decent training. Good call with the extra weight, Law. Right? Now you get it? Since we've already come this far, what do you say we have a little one-on-one -on -one with our rocks strapped on? Hell yeah! I'm down for that! Just give me a second, I'll be all ready to roll! Okay! I'm all set! Let's do this! Take this! I'm just getting started! <laughs> Go. You two are cleaning it up. Yes, yes Shion. Shion. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, every time I stop at a campfire, I want to make sure we don't have any skits I missed. And let's cook our next meal. Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and cook with Law this time. Hey, that actually came out pretty all right, don't you think? And let's sure. talk to Shio. Could we talk a moment? Shouldn't you be resting? I wanted to talk with you for a bit. I don't really want to talk right now. Right. I'll, uh, stop bothering you then. I didn't say you were bothering me. Uh... Sorry. Don't take it personally. I'm just not used to being around other people, so I don't really know how to... chit-chat. Well, for a start, you let your guard down a little. Hey, here's a thought. What if you tell me about your childhood? What with my thorns and all, I didn't really have one. Not to speak of, anyway. Although, I guess I did have one friend. Who was it? A really old doll. Oh. When I was a little girl, the doll was the only thing I could touch and hold without worrying about my thorns hurting it. I would do things like dress it up or sit it on my lap when I was eating. The two of us were practically inseparable. Can I ask something? Is it about the fact that I played with dolls? No, it isn't. I only wanted to ask who gave you the doll in the first place. I don't remember. <clears throat> it was a long time ago. Where is it now? I had to leave it behind when I left Lenegas. I didn't have a choice. Most likely it's long gone <clears throat> at this point. I think it's time we go to sleep. Yeah, that doll actually is long gone. I don't think we ever see that doll again. We might, but Morning. I don't remember. Ready to head out? I would be, but let's talk to this guy real quick. See if he's got anything new we can buy. He does. Uh, yeah. We can put the Zuga shell armor on Alfin. I 
I don't think we can find those later. But if you want to uh, break down the stuff you can get, you can just do that. And I'm going to go ahead and sell all of the uh, commodity items, like it says right here. Get some more gold. Let's see if we can craft any new weapons. Oh, yes, we can, but we don't have the stuff for them. We can, however, craft this for her. And it's Lily, we need some clay fragments. Uh, we can craft this one. Let's get ourselves a radiant light. And I'm just going to go ahead and craft and equip his most powerful weapon. I always love the sound of hammers banging away. And for accessories, I will do that much later in the game when there's a lot more accessories that we can gather up but and like this should be use. Right now, we don't really have enough that I want to waste resources for it. Look sharp. Lightning Tiger Blade. But we will be doing that a lot. Probably. I think we'll work on that when we get the full party together. Then we'll start crafting accessories and working on that because we do need to do that to get all of Shion's titles. Now, if we head over here, we can get another fishing spot, but we can't do anything with that. And we also ooh, come ooh, down ooh. here to get another owl. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I kind of like the owl hunting side quest in here. Granted, I never use what they give me because I'm not one to put attachments on my characters. One of your buddies. All right, I think that about does it for me today. Let's see how long we're recording. Oh yeah, perfect. But what awaits us on the other side of this bridge? And will we be able to make it into whatever passes for a town? I think she said Vicent earlier. And get ready to liberate this route. Find out next time on Let's Play Tales of Arise. This is Joseph K. Signing out. Y'all have a great day. And keep it real. Later. How 